Today we're looking at multiple input and multiple output plugins and how to control them from the piano roll and route them through the mixer. We have direct wave here routed to mixer track 1, but the principles here will relate to any multiple output instrument. I'll load some samples in direct wave using the multi tab, that's on the VST version only. Cello on MIDI channel 1, French horn on 5. flute on 9, and trombone on 14. These are arbitrary numbers, but I've separated them for a good reason, as you'll soon see. Pay attention to the mixer track the audio appears on. So here's the cello. French horn. Flute. And trombone. As you saw, all routed to mixer track 1. In Direct Wave, you can select the independent outputs for each channel here. Double click and enter the offset you want. That is the number of mixer track slots before or after the plugin's own mixer track, negative or positive numbers. One last step applicable to all plugins you need to select the Wrapper Processing tab and map the outputs to offsets as well. I'll choose the Auto Map, which assigns the outputs to ascending offsets. Done. Now you'll see cello comes out on mixer track 1, French horn on track 2, flute on track 3, and trombone on offset track 4. So how do you control these instruments? Well there are two methods. First from piano roll colours. We're using direct wave input MIDI channels 1, 5, 9 and 14. Interestingly, the piano roll colours also correspond to MIDI channels. See the hint bar. This is the reason I separated my MIDI channels in direct wave, because the MIDI note colours close to each other are similar in colour, and I wanted to make sure the colours were different. So one is cello, five is French horn, Nine is flute. And because I can't count in groups of four, trombone is on MIDI colour 14. So we can control all the instruments in direct wave from a single piano roll. The second method is to load a MIDI out plugin for each channel in your plugin and link them. To do that, you need to set the port on MIDI out 4 here to match the input port on your plugin's wrapper settings tab. So now this MIDI out should control cello. If I set this one to 5, it will control French horn. This one to 9 to control the flute. And finally, this one to 14 for the trombone. So that's it. To recap, you can use note colours that correspond to MIDI channels, or MIDI out plugins to control those same MIDI channels. Until next time, enjoy your multiple input and output plugins. Thank you.